Good morning, everyone. My name is Tyler Herrera. I am in Long Beach, California, and today I'm going to talk to you about why I decided to own my own coffee roasting company and what you should do if you're thinking about taking a dive into business ownership. So to start off, I'll give a brief oral history of my coffee career thus far, and it starts back in 2012 at Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf. I uh, applied for a barista gig, and it was nothing more than needing a job. I quickly fell in love with the social experience of being a barista. It wasn't about the quality of the coffee I was serving at Coffee Bean. It was simply that I loved being a part of people's day and learning more about my customers and sharing that experience with them each day. From there, I actually was turned on to Stumptown Coffee and Blue Bottle Coffee, some of the two big names in specialty coffee. And after having that experience, I realized there was this entire other branch of the industry that I wanted to know more about. So I found a local roaster in San Diego by the name of Dark Horse Coffee. I began going there more often and learning more and more about high quality specialty coffee. And eventually I just asked them if they needed help. I became a barista for them and ended up managing their uh, flagship store for a little while. While at Dark Horse, I, it was becoming more and more obvious that I wanted to own my own coffee roasting company, but I knew I needed more experience and perhaps even needed to go to a bigger company that had a staff of roasters that I could potentially join to learn how to roast coffee. So from Dark Horse, I took the leap up to Stumptown Coffee in LA and I actually started doing sales with Stumptown Coffee. And it turns out that doing sales and transitioning into roasting is much harder than I originally thought. So when it was becoming apparent that it was gonna be a long, tiring road just to try and convince them that I wanted to roast coffee and not just sell coffee, I began to invest my own time and money into teaching myself how to roast coffee. I went out to Roasters Guild in Atlanta, and upon getting there, I actually came across a job posting for a quality control internship with Inter-American Coffee, and long story short, turns out Inter-American Coffee was at Roasters Guild, so I interviewed with them there and got the gig when I came back to California, and that by far, those five months with Inter-American Coffee, they're a green importer, those were by far the best five months of my coffee career. I learned so much about coffee and I also bought a one kilogram coffee roaster while there and just picked their brains, soaked up as much knowledge as I could. And I really feel completely in debt to everything they were willing to do to help me learn how to roast good coffee. So after that, I felt ready that I was going to take the plunge into tired eyes. And back in uh, March, I launched tired eyes and the ultimate driving force that compelled me to open my own roasting company was that I loved what all these other companies were doing and looked up to so many different brands, but I knew if I wasn't responsible for producing the coffee, having my hands on that process of roasting it and bringing out all the exciting things we love about coffee, I was never going to fulfill my passion. I was never going to fulfill my potential as a coffee professional. So it was really just wanting to have ownership over the product and it was just a burning sensation and desire to do so. So if you've come to the conclusion that that is you, I think the next step you need to take is do the research. And you'll probably hear that a lot, but it is it is the most helpful piece of advice I took. I researched every facet of owning a coffee company and luckily I had experience from being with small companies and big companies, but ultimately when you launch your business, you still may feel like you're growing and you should. You shouldn't feel like your business is complete when you launch. It's an evolving project, but Nonetheless, I digress. If you are trying to open your own business, the most telling sign is a burning sensation that you have to have ownership of your product. And if you have that sensation, I highly suggest you follow it and do the research, take your time, and don't act too quickly. You have all the time in the world. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I will be doing more videos like this, so please let me know if that was helpful, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. And please like, comment, and subscribe, and please engage with me. I would love to know what you guys are thinking. I'll be doing more episodes like this as I go on my journey of owning a coffee roasting company.